Unstoppable has been 14 months in the making, you know. It's just the idea that occurred when I was at a government meeting. It was just a political meeting and people were talking about the future of Queensland. And the ideas they had in terms of paying uh, the debt of the state of Queensland was to sell the state assets or to increase taxes. At that moment, I started thinking, hold on a second, hold on a second. If you're in business, you don't open a garage sale and start selling, you know, <laughs> your, your, your gear, your goods at a fire sale. So I started really thinking, if you want to pay the debt of a state, how do you do it? You've got to create businesses. And to create business, you've got to bring back the spirit of entrepreneurs. We know that the entrepreneur has a real spirit of adventure. So we want to bring amazing people to amazing places to truly achieve amazing results. See, I have not yet been to Antarctica. I want to see how the interview is going to go at the end. But everybody that has been has told me, have told me that uh, being to Antarctica is in your face beautiful. Some people have even gone further and tell, told me that it's in your soul beautiful. So I hope that people will come and be confronted on the vastness and the beauty and the fact that I am alive to witness this, to be here, and then to say, my God, I actually matter. <laughs> when you start looking at business leaders and uh, entrepreneurs, you start to think, what defines an entrepreneur, right? And people start saying, oh, good uh, business acumen, um, perhaps, um, you know, bravery, perhaps courage. And, and then we start distilling. And then when the word unstoppable hit, you start thinking, oh, a true entrepreneur is unstoppable. <laughs> An unstoppable entrepreneur is someone who drops down to their knees and thinks they're down six times and gets up seven. This deep, burning passion to do something of meaning, of significance, you know, be it to disrupt an industry for the better, be it to, you know, create something that adds value to the world, um, pioneer a new innovative technology that, that changes people's access to something that's, that, again, is significant. So some people just look at things and they see all the obstacles. The entrepreneur sees the, the obstacle, the risk and thinks, so what am I going to do? How am I going to get around it? One of the things that I have learned is this. People make the decisions much more based on fear, what they're afraid of, rather than the opportunity or even their capabilities. And to, and to, to realize that what, the, what stops amazing things from happening is fear. So what gets you to jump that fear over is being unstoppable. Imagine if you had an environment where people had permission for being unstoppable. When actually those obstacles came, they grouped and said, we'll help you to take it out. And, uh, you know, because being unstoppable is really, really, I believe, defines, right, what an entrepreneur really is at the core, unstoppable. They get hit, they get up, they get hit, they get up, you know, unstoppable is that. So we're creating this movement, you know, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Antarctica camping, here we are. Yeah. Oh.
Yeah, well, I think it's critical to realize that in the world of Unstoppables, what we're about is saying, bring all of you all the time all in. The assumption is if we put everything on the table, everything that we can command, everything that we steward, every resource that we have, if we bring all of that to the game, then the entire game expands. So rather than being something where it's a linear process, a diode process A to B to C to D, we're actually saying, hey, what if we actually light the sun? What if we take the field that we're creating and just bang that thing with a lightning bolt and see if we can light up a sun? And that's really what this is about. <laughs>
reason in, in Australia we have so many disillusioned rich people is that they've spent their whole life chasing the dollar only to get at the end and realise they missed the point. It's not about the dollar, it's about what you're doing on the planet. Profit for purpose means that organisations make money but they have a useful purpose for it. For me, it's about being able to make as much money as I can to provide for my family, of course, but also to help end world hunger. Really passionate about social enterprise, uh, sustainability in the environment, and helping others to you know, start up their enterprises that are going to make a, a difference in the world. The planet is suffering from greed, right? And the antidote to greed is generosity. So find yourself, yourself a space to be generous and be generous. Now if you start to think and put the two together, so if you have the ability to make money, then make the money. If you have the ability to become a multi-multi-millionaire, then, then do that. Let us help you to do that as a group, right? But once you go over that threshold, what are you going to do with the money? Cool. Find a space in which you can truly collaborate, leave a legacy for real. So what I like to say is, let's take poverty out of the planet by 2035. Why not? Why not? Why do children need to die in our watch? What, what are we doing, right? See, these are the deeper conversations because every dollar counts, right? So if we can get together and, and say, let's clean the water, it's, it's easy to say, not so easy to do, but people that have the profitability mechanisms, they can do much better than those that can't. So let's treat it like a business. What? Let's treat the problems of the world like a business. An entrepreneur can look at a business and say, wow, I can fix that. And the truth is, in some cases, you can even make money out of it, right? Why? Because that's how she rolls. And then when you make more of the money, well, what's the next problem? And what's the next thing I'm going to do? And that is the reality we want to bring, right? A bunch of people that are consciously wired, they are conscious that I have a game to play. I have a responsibility to the planet, to my fellow man, right? And imagine to be able to stand and hold hands and say, no more poverty. Man, you've got to become a much greater person to be even talk like that, right? So let's, bring, let's be unstoppable about it. trip to Antarctica and I said yes uh, and then I heard it was a trip with the number of Australia's uh, leading entrepreneurial minds and I was like absolutely. I wanted to spend time with uh, like a hundred people who are uh, like-minded. Uh, it's about creating opportunities and sharing ideas. And I really wanted to be around people that could stretch my brain and thinking, you know, that I could be inspired by what it is that they were putting into action day to day and um, had a bigger vision for what we could do in our world, for what we could do in our country and were actively prepared to put themselves and their resources on the line to chase that, that vision. Every time that there are pollution or people dying or everything, there's no us and them. So I can stand here and think, you know what? I am gonna make money, why? Because I can, it's simple. And if I can't and I aspire to, Right, I don't know what to do, great. Come and join Unstoppables and mingle with a bunch of people that know what to do, learn it from them and do likewise. So indeed, there is now a time in which people are coming together with a sense of collaboration to say, we gotta take care you know, of our family first, then our state, then our country, and then the planet. And things can go literally like that. It doesn't matter what you're doing. It doesn't matter what the cause is. If you tackle and you lean in in order to address it, your quality of your now is going to the roof. Three, five, four. What are we crossing again? I forget. The, the Antarctic Circle. <laughs> <laughs> I want to finish with this. Your children are watching you. They're watching you do it. And it becomes part of, you know. So and then, and then the whole thing transcends. Amazing if there is no us and them, but only us. 
And I think that's what Unstoppable is, you know, the core of what Unstoppable is all about.